There it is, the Sky Shard. absorb the energy of that shard. Oh, incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate. Alright, focus on the Sky Shard Avatar. With any luck, it'll respond to the power you absorbed and unlock the gate. I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just... Again, I'm just a scholar, but I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. to oblivion. the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow me. Oh, 
By all the stars. Look at the central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. This is the Keyrites Gallery, but not as I remember it. Now I see why we never managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. Because of you. Matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the Adamantine Tower itself chose you. The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel, places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. What, me? No, I've got work to do. The Cinderil will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Since I did the discovering, I'll probably end up leading the effort. Adventure abroad sounds all well and good, but my place is here. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? Excellent. You can visit Stros Mackay and Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Canarthi's Roos that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pact's domain. Rose Mackay. It's a fascinating island with rich dwarven and red guard history. Alas, it's been largely overrun by pirates. If the gallery elected to open a portal to the island, something extraordinary must be occurring there. So, ready to set out. We submit to your will and call forth the chains of cold. They're performing a ritual, preparing the way for a dark anchor. It's worse than we thought. The plain melt has begun. The portals reach from our side to theirs. That means there is a traitor. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Imagine seeing your nemesis succeed where you failed. Let the way be opened. I am patient. Let the will of Prolog Val be denied. This world will one day be mine.
No more excuses, Lambor. Look what the sea spat out, Lambor. Might be just what we need. You interested in some easy money? I have a heist planned, a big one. Anyone who helps is going to be rich. But I need people who aren't local, who aren't in the pocket of Hedman Bosek. Still interested? This work requires some special talents. You help me recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. So, what do you say? The three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. He's a thief, but he's the best there is. He'd be a big help in the heist I have planned. Problem is, he robbed Bosek. Nobody robs Bosek. He's been tossed into the grave under Bosek's palace. Naramo's nice enough for an Altmer if you get past his Dwemer fixation. Thing is, the relics he finds in Dwemer ruins sometimes come in very handy. He just might have a device we can use for our heist. She's an old friend, captain of the Maiden's Breath. She's also a master of disguise. We can use that. The Sea Drakes use their lighthouse tricks to run her ship aground near Saintsport. Rescue her, and she might join us. Naramo's. There's a Duema ruin outside town, Bithzark. Naramo went there to dig up relics, help him find some, and he might just join us. Deserted, the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton galleons. Thing is, King Farharajad called for an end to it now that we're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, as a loyal Red Guard, I obeyed. Ruler of the Red Guard people, now king among equals in the Daggerfall Covenant. King Farharajad would have us raid the ships of our enemies, not our allies. There is wisdom in that. If by disagreed you mean tried to kill us, then yes. Bunch of bloody mutineers. Lambor, myself, and a few others ran them off the ship, but word spread. No one here wants to sail with a captain who won't raid Bretons. Bloody Bosek, or Headman Bosek, as he calls himself now. He took over the palace years ago, killed the old ruler and took his place. Captain Helene, but she's worse than Bosek. Her sea drakes run Saint's Port south of here, biggest ban of murderers on the sea. Bosek and Helene tolerate each other, Neither's ready for a war, yet. The Screaming Mermaid's just up the road, and they've always got good rum. Just keep a grip on your coin purse, or you'll be a beggar by day's end. Bosex thugs the bloody fists. Cross one, you cross them all, and Bosek will have your head on a pike faster than you can say, Please, don't put my head on a pike! Also, the Sea Drakes will gut you if you enter Saintsport. The crystals are the key. The door itself would easily open if I could only... Hello? I hope you're not planning to rob me. I've nothing of value, and you might not like being incinerated. I, I regret I must complete my work here before entertaining additional opportunities. I must find a way inside Bithzark. Miraculous! To think that the Dwemer of old Volenfell settled as far as Strosmakai. 
My brother and I have scoured the ruins exterior for some time now, but we have never been able to get inside. Several reasons. One is that Hedman Bosek commissioned me to explore the ruins. A fascinating aspect of Duema ruins are the ancient mechanisms to be found inside. Bosek thinks to use them in Port Hundig. I need to get inside to investigate. An excellent suggestion. I believe this automaton can unseal the door if it can be controlled. I have its control rod, but two focusing crystals seem to be missing. They are nearby, but the local creatures dissuade me from claiming them. With the focusing crystals in hand, I can complete this control rod and safely reactivate the automaton. While you recover the crystals, I'll make the proper adjustments to the construct. Some call them dwarves, a race of brilliant artisans and metal workers who possessed great ingenuity. They built vast underground cities filled with remarkable inventions. Now such works are all that remain of the Duema. None can say for sure. Some believe they achieved divinity. Others claim they were consumed by some folly of their own. Perhaps both are true. But long ago they vanished, the entire race, leaving little but their marvelous treasures behind. Dim the gleam of avarice I see in your eyes. The treasure I seek is knowledge, worthless to any but a scholar. Those who help me acquire this can expect to be well rewarded, however. <laughs>